Hey guys, for today's video, I'm starting a new series called Customizing YouTuber Merch. Basically, I'm going to buy some YouTubers merch, unbox it on camera, and then choose an item to customize. So for today's video, I have chosen Mira Byler. She is an art YouTuber I find very inspiring. She posts on a bunch of different creative topics, and I really like her painting skills. She's just extremely good at painting. Anything she paints, I'm like, wow, man, I wish I could paint that good. The first thing that I purchased was this notepad, which is super cute. I love this notepad. I love the little teddy bear. I love the little peaches. I love the colors. I love that it has like a smiley face on the notes right there. Look how thick this is. That's a lot of pages, you know? The next thing that I purchased was actually this sticker. It's a banana sticker. I just thought it was hilarious. Like its face is like, wait, let me see if I can do it. It actually just came with a free sticker. Mira just must have threw this in. It says Art Fam, which is super cute. It's like sparkly. I really needed washi tape. And this is a very thick roll of washi tape. It's the Bottle Buds one. I thought that one was like pretty cute. And then Mira also included a little thank you card with her uh, teddy bear and the peach on the back. The other set of merch that I purchased was from Mira's Teespring. I really love her Create Kindness symbol. I think it's super cute. I'm a sucker for anything with a little derpy face and this one has a derpy face. And I also bought it on a t-shirt. I actually think I'm gonna go with the t-shirt for today's video solely because with the t-shirt, I can at least paint on a flat surface. Painting on a mug is a little more difficult because it's like round and I don't know if I'm up for that today. Before we start painting this t-shirt, I do want to put a quick disclaimer out there. The whole reason that I'm doing this series is to celebrate the YouTuber's merch. So me painting on it is not me like fixing it or correcting it or saying it's bad or wrong in any way. It's quite the opposite. I actually love Mira's art and I wanted to just add to it to customize it for fun. Okay, now that I've shown you the merch, let me get that out of here and we'll bring in the t-shirt that we will be painting. I removed the tag to start off with and insided the shirt out threw it in the wash, tried the shirt on, and this is what it looks like on. It's a little long, so I'm going to be cutting it around there. It'll be cutting off that much. Not making it a crop top or anything like that. I do still want this to be comfortable. I made a tiny mark with a pencil, and I took out my Bottle Buds washi tape that I purchased from Miranda. Notice I'm taping it to the shirt because I don't trust myself to cut a straight line. Even with the guide, I did still somehow manage to cut a line that was slightly diagonal. It's so confusing, but in this case it was able to be fixed because the guide told me it was diagonal and I just cut that off and everything was straight across, at least as far as my eyes can tell. The next thing I did was actually flip the shirt over and add some more washi tape to the back of it. I'm bringing out my tacky glue and stick with me here, guys. Yes, that was a joke. And yes, I just live like that. My tacky glue bottle just is destroyed and I just accept it. Anyway, so tacky glue is fabric glue and I'm using this washi tape as kind of like a guide for creating a hem for the t-shirt. Something that drives me nuts is when t-shirts are cut and they don't have a hem. I do like to sew. I took sewing lessons when I was little, so I just like forever, oh, gotta fix that right there. I forever know how to sew, so I just, I really like when things have a clean hem. Anyway, once the fabric paint had dried, I was good to take off that washi tape. And of course I tried the shirt on one more time to make sure we're good to go to start painting. Last video, I purchased a wet palette and it has succeeded in keeping my paint wet. It's It didn't dry out. Back to the shirt. So for this uh, customization painting thing, I decided to paint more of Miranda's characters. So I started off painting this bear and I realized I had to put a piece of paper in between because it was bleeding through to the back of the shirt. So I decided to paint her peachy bear. I like to call it, I know it's just, it's a teddy bear with holding a peach. I just realized that I have been referring to it in my head as the peachy bear, but no one else does that. And this is embarrassing. I started by painting the teddy bear because I thought it was cute. A good quantity of Mira's characters tend to have derpy faces. Oop, drying this. And I think we all know that I love derpy faces. I don't think that's a, that's a secret at this point. It's not, it's not. <laughs> I painted the nose and the mouth. I also gave it some eyes and then I outlined the bear with a light brown color just like Mira has on hers. And as I was doing that, I realized that something was a little off about my teddy bear versus Mira's. While I was thinking about what was different, I painted the peach 
and I also painted the teddy bear arms and its stitches. And then what was quite obvious hit me. The eyes were too small and also too far up. I couldn't really lower them too much because of what I had already done, but this is what it looked like. Hopefully it's not too terrible. Mac and cheese break. <clears throat> anyway, so I painted the blush and we're moving on to the paint palette. So for this paint palette, I am not really changing the basic integrity of the paint palette. Instead, I'm just adding my specific shades of paint to the paint palette. I really kept them basically the same, but adding in my colors really makes everything look more cohesive, I feel. I just wanted to brighten up the colors a little bit, add some highlights, make that paint look nice and, you know, juicy, I guess. After that, I moved on to the second character of this painting, and it's the Bottle Buds. So something I love about Mira is that she was a biology major in college, and then she ended up pursuing a career in art. And I relate to that a lot. I double majored in computer science and math in college. I'm a sciencey person myself. I didn't take biology classes or anything like that. Although I did really like the chemistry class I took. What I'm basically saying is I really appreciate that Mira majored in something that's sciencey in college and then didn't actually end up pursuing it after she graduated just because she found art more appealing. Because I feel like that's something similar to what is happening to me as well. If you've been paying attention, you'll know this bottle bud is actually from the bottle buds washi tape that I purchased. This is the second character I've painted that is also on something I purchased. Because the peachy bear was on the notepad and the bottle buds were on the washi tape. Oh my gosh, I'm so predictable. Huh. I guess I bought the things that I liked the most and then painted them without realizing that I was doing that. Interesting. Interesting. I realized I made another mistake. A tragic mistake. I put the green liquid uh, material poison. I put it a little bit too low, so there's not enough of the glass bottle around the bottom, and then I can't do both of the outlines. So Miranda has two outlines around this bottle, and I kind of had to just like stop it halfway. And that is something that is haunting me to this day. So I'm so sorry, there is a clear mistake here, and I don't know how I'll fix it. I won't, I won't fix it actually. It's just gonna, it's just gonna exist like that. I'm wearing the shirt right now, so. We're just gonna have to live with it. And we're moving on to the peach that comes with the bear. It's also, it comes separately as well. I really appreciate the simple form to this peach. Like it just, it, it has like a nice curvature to it. Does anyone agree? I feel like I like that it's like slightly turned to the right. Throughout the process of painting, I made some mistakes. So I took out some black slick paint and just quickly did some touch-ups that were driving me absolutely up a wall at that point. I'm fine, thank you for asking. Something I love about Mira's art are actually her color choices, and I didn't really have a good appreciation for it until I started painting her characters. A lot of the colors she used are just slightly different than the stock kind of colors that come with paints. I don't know, at least as far as the fabric paints. When I was mixing them, I would have to like take a green and then mix a little bit of yellow in it and a little bit of brown in it and make it a little bit faded and it's just every single color was just so not the typical color that I usually use and I really enjoyed that. Is, is this what learning feels like? And last but not least, of course I had to paint the bubble fly and I feel like that is Mira's like signature character and I really could not do a Mira Byler customization video without including the bubble fly. Am I right guys? Guys? Hello? In all seriousness, I do really find the bubble fly to be very cute. I just like its face. And I also just really like that it's shaped like a bean. Like, why is it shaped like a bean? I don't know. Why do I like it? I don't know. I do not have the answers. I took my white puffy paint and covered up any mistakes that I made. I removed the protective piece of paper, and good thing I used that piece of paper, because I did get a decent amount of paint on it. And here we have all four of the characters painted. We have the bottle buds, the peachy bear, the bubble fly, and the peach. Let me know which one you guys like the best. I think I like the bottle buds the best probably, but I really love the peachy bear as well as the bubble fly. It's so hard to choose. And this is what it looks like with it on. Miranda, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting me customize your merch. And everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If there are any other art YouTubers or YouTubers in general that you'd like me to purchase their merch and customize it, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.